Okay, so today is the 16th of April, and I'm here in our garage. We finally moved the 13 birds that hatched over a month ago uh, into the garage until we can afford a garden shed that we'd like to put in our back property here. But in the meantime, uh, this is where they'll stay. I put one of those plastic folding tables up, and uh, they sit up at a nice height. And uh, you, can, you can see the rollout sections there for the hens when they lay their eggs. But this guy right here is in detention. He is mean and he likes to peck at, at all the girls. And especially he loves to uh, be a bully and peck at the men or the, <laughs> the roosters. This is the above section here and I've got either three, three for sure, the browns, uh, the brown ones in there are all roosters. The white one, I can't tell if it's a hen or a male or a rooster. Uh, these are all hens here, but the other white one that's in there, it could be a male or it could be a female. I don't know, I have, I have two whites. All the rest are Caternic browns. Uh, so anyway, so, so above here, these are uh, three female in here. They're all open up so you can see. These are some of my girls. These are hens. One of them is a male. I think I'll keep them as a group so he can have at it when he's mature enough. They're all over four weeks old now. The hens will start to lay in another week or two. They normally can start around five weeks of age. They just passed their four week time frame. And again, I sh uh, this is another section of hens. And I'm thinking the white one is a male, but who knows? Uh, I'll have to uh, sex the white ones when they're six weeks old, I can do that. Uh, the other ones are feather sexable. So anyway, I just wanted to uh, sh give you that quick update, okay? So here is a shot of our brooder that's getting all prepared for the catching baby chicks that are right here. I just, uh, today is locked down, normally within 48 hours. Uh, today is day 16 since they've been in the incubator. So I took the rotating rack out and uh, placed them on that mat that's breathable and up the uh, humidity to 70. As long as it's between 60 and 70 percent, I'd rather see it at 75, but I can't seem to get it that high. This is right now the humidity is at 70.8. So that's good. 99.5 or 6 is perfect temperature. But you can see here on the machine, I had to get it at 101.5 to get it to have it really at 99.5 and it says 60 percent humidity so the humidity on the machine is far better uh, I mean closer to the Govi humid uh, gauge here okay then I would like to show you what I got going over here in my grow uh, grow light area I have six garden beds I'm putting together in our in our back property and as you can see, I've got some peas that are sprouting. Cucumbers definitely going crazy. Okra is going crazy. Uh, eggplant, not seeing anything there yet. They've been in the soil for about five days. Swiss chard, one, one right there. So, and then I've got some uh, Roma potatoes, potatoes, tomatoes. <laughs> okay, and look at this. I got pepper plants popping up. They were not popping up this morning, and it is now, uh, what, a little after one o'clock, and they're now sprouting up. Uh, I got cantaloupe, hopefully coming up there. Uh, I got some squash coming up, lettuce. There's one lettuce. That, that I th is supposed to be a lettuce, who knows. Okay, and what do we got here? Artichoke. Uh, I don't see anything coming up yet. 
And then this one here is Tomato Jubilee. It's a big tomato. So we've got quite a few, uh, and, and there's 12 cells on each there. So these things can get big, of course. It'll be interesting to see how it all pans out. And uh, they'll probably be in this scenario for another couple weeks before I'd ever want to take them outside.